Hello Capricorn and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you are here with me today. Today's reading is going to be for the last two weeks of April, so from the 15th to the 30th. We are going to be getting into your energies. We're going to do some tarot cards. We're going to get some angel messages, spirit animal messages, and we're going to end with your lucky angel number and the affirmation that goes along with it. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find that it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Please also check your rising moon or Venus signs as well. So before we begin, let's cleanse the space. Okay, so let's get right into your energies. So those of you that are returning, thank you so much for um, all your support. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, and I can't thank you enough. So for Capricorn, spirit angels and guides, what are the energies that are surrounding Capricorn for the next two weeks? What would you like to share? For the next two weeks, anything else you'd like to share? Anything else? Any other messages? You got two more messages there. Okay. Oh, you got one. All right. So the first card, number 11, cornucopia. It's something you seem to get quite regularly. You also got number 27, walking away. And number 51, healer of the ages. Now we're going to start with the bottom of the deck. You got happy family here. So very beautiful energy here Capricorn as we you know make our way through the uh, the final two weeks of April this happy family of course as it depicts from the picture you know the rainbow is basically you know over um, overriding your beautiful family overseeing your beautiful family now family to you could be your friends it can be people that you are closest to um, but definitely that support from family, there's feeling a lot of grounding energy here, which is beautiful energy. Now you also got that along with number 38, which is the fourth chakra archangel Raphael. So I'm feeling like there's a lot of love and a lot of um, beautiful family bonding going on here. So again, there could be um, there could be some things happening, um, you know, with with the family, like maybe some events that are coming into play um, that are really bringing out a lot of love. And here you are, number 42, a woman holding coin. Again, we do not do gender in any of these readings, but this definitely we would depict your energy, Capricorn. Um, of course, the woman holding a coin is a very independent, nurturing, has it all together uh, personality. You know, doesn't just have the means to provide for herself, but she always makes sure that those around her are also taken care of. So there's definitely something that's playing on your heartstrings, something to do with family, so, but it's all in a very positive, very positive and uplifting messages coming in here. So some of you could again be, you know, going through a transition where you are um, spending some more time with family. Maybe there's more family reunions or family birthdays, anniversaries, but definitely some sort of celebrations where you are celebrating and joining it with family and feeling that sense of, you know, really feeling that sense of love coming into play as well. So now we're going to get into your energies and we're going to start with the uh, cornucopia. This seems to be a constant for you as we, right from the beginning, really right from January when I, when I started doing your readings. The 11, of course, is a master number and it really is like that gateway opening up to this sense of abundance. There's transformations that of course are taking place and I'm really feeling again like everything is sort of aligning and coming together for you. Um, in, in a beautiful, a beautiful way. Now, for some of you, the tw number 27, walking away, this is really a positive aspect because again, in, the, in this illustration, there are butterflies and transformations taking place as well. So for some of you, this really could be an opportunity to walk away from something that, you know, maybe it's really run its course. It's, it's time for you to let something go. And you're not walking, you know, you're not walking into darkness. You're actually walking into the light. It's not as if you're going to forget your past. It's still going to be something that's important to you. You've learned those lessons from the past, but now it's time to walk through that gateway and really, you know, accept the transformations that are coming into play for you. 
Now, uh, you also got number 51, which is healer of the ages. And again, healing energy. Now, healing energy can be if you've, you know, been feeling a little under the weather uh, with Mercury retrograde, which of course we are still in at this time. Um, it of course has been since April 1st to the 25th of April. You know, a lot of us, I think, have felt a little bit in a fog. You know, our, our minds and our focus has not been, um, you know, where we really want it to be. And for some of us, it's, it's really caused us, you know, to be a little bit under the weather. Um, now, with the healer of the agers, you know, you're starting to really start feeling that energy starting to flow again. You're really starting to get into that flow of life again. And for some of you, if... If you're walking away from something that uh, was emotionally painful, that healing energy is here to help you to move on and to embark onto your new path. Because even though sometimes letting go can be something of an adjustment with that cornucopia and that abundance that's coming into play for you, you know, again, there's a lot of transformations that are taking place here. So some, some, key, um, some key dates to remember for this month is going to be um, on the 19th of April, we have Sun entering Taurus. So we're moving from Aries energy to Taurus energy. Now with all these transformations that I keep talking about, we have the full moon in Scorpio on the 23rd. So that's gonna be a very, a very intense and passionate energy that you're gonna start to feel. And you know, you're really gonna feel as if there's things that you need to address and to close out during this time. Full moons are about closing cycles, closing up those gaps, putting, um, putting you know, the dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and really, you know, allowing things to um, close, close out some sort of cycle that's been happening. And that could be why you're walking away as well, because now it's time to leave. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's something has run its course. But let's get into the tarot cards um, and really find out a little bit more as to what's going on. So we're going to start with the cornucopia, spirit angels and guides. Anything else you'd like to share? Anything else? Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to share? We've got a few messages here. So we're gonna start with the first one. Interesting enough, you've got the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is of course about an ending and it can be somewhat of a painful ending. So for some of you, um, you know, it, it's going to really resonate differently. But this is an ending that is a necessary ending. And we were talking about this walking away and some, some chapters of your life having to close in order to open that gateway for the abundance to allow the transformations to take place. So you are letting go of something. And, you know, it's, again, like I said, it can be something that's somewhat painful. So, I mean, really that can, can be anything. It can be a relationship. It can be a job. It can be something to do with family. You know, I mean, maybe it's, um, there could be, now, there could be a, a loss of a family member here um, for some of you. And again, that's only going to be a few of you. Um, and that could be, you know, as painful as it is to let go, it was time to let go. That that person was at, you know, at, at the end where now it was, it's time to actually celebrate what a beautiful life they had. For some of you, that could be, could be the case. Of course, it has to resonate with you each differently, but it is an ending. So however that relates to you, but that ending is what's helping to open, open these gateways and these, these doors to more happiness and more abundance. You also got the wheel, another 10. So two tens, a lot of completed cycles are coming into being for you in these last two weeks of April, Capricorn. Um, the 10, Wheel of Fortune is really about um, your luck is really changing. You have good luck on your side. It's about expansion. It's about, you know, it is ruled by Jupiter. So there is a lot of unexpected, sometimes unexpected luck, unexpected things coming into play. Where you may have felt that that wheel was not turning in your favor, you're going to start seeing that it is starting to turn. It's helping you to close out those cycles so that again with the 10, you can close the cycles and then tens become one. So it allows for those new beginnings. And then you get that gateway to, uh, to happiness as well there. And then you also got number 18 moon. So very interesting. So this full moon here, of course, ruled by cancer. This is, um, this can be very auspicious as well. I'm really feeling like you've got a turn of events that's coming into play and it's really, going to close cycles out for you during that full moon. 
So the full moon in Scorpio on the 23rd, again, you've got the two tens and that full moon energy. So I believe that you're closing out cycles again on, on the 23rd of April. And, you know, where there you may have felt some unknown, you know, unknown information. Um, maybe there's uh, things that are kind of like deep seated or secrets or something that is being hidden that hasn't come out yet. And that's because we're in Mercury retrograde as well. I really feel that this full moon is going to open up everything because two days later, Mercury goes direct into Aries and no more are we going to have these miscommunications and this fogginess and this not being able to really, you know, communicate what we need. That's going to all change during that full moon for you. So I'm going to clarify these now because those are some pretty intense energies. And again, like I said, they're going to resonate with some of you and maybe not with others. But endings, of course, can be with anything. But the thing is that ending is bringing about a whole new cycle. It's bringing in luck. It's bringing in good fortune. It's bringing in expansion. And it's all happening around that moon. So if you're feeling like things are unknown or you're really feeling fearful or, you know, just undecided, that's all going to be cleared up for you by that full moon. There we go. Anything else you'd like to share with us to clarify these beautiful energies? All right. So you got the Four of Swords. So this is rest. This is rest and recuperation after prob probably a very trying time. You know, of course, releasing and having to let go of something. Um, and then, of course, the excitement of something beginning and some, some, something new coming into being. You know, this is a huge, intense cycle for you. You know, you're going to start to feel as if you're, um, you're more in control. You're also going to feel more empowered and ready to move forward after this, uh, this sense of closure here. And because you're able to, to accept this transformation... Um, the Four of Swords is that time of reprieve. It's that time to rest. It's time to rebuild your inner resources because now you've got the you've got a lot of things coming into play for you. There's going to be a lot of action and happening after the 25th of of April. Many many things are coming into play and a lot more forward movement. So take the rest that you need. Um, you know, do some meditation. You take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Um, very important to do that as well because again, cornucopia, that gateway to abundance, can be also your health, making sure that you're keeping in tune with your own checkups and making sure that you mentally, physically, spiritually, um, you know, are feeling really, really good at a good place. And then you also got the three of wands and we talked about um, the wheel of fortune here, that 10, the wheel. Um, you know, turning in your favor and things starting to expand. And the three of wands is that expansion. That is, you know, your ship is coming in. You have been really taking this Mercury retrograde. You've really been taking that time out to plan your next moves. You've been planning and planning and planning. You've had patience, but now that ship is starting to come in and now you're going to be able to move forward. So expansion is coming into play, but that comes in after you release something and you allow this new beginning to, to, um, to circulate for you. So now let's get this walking away and find out what it is you have to walk away from. Again, when we have to leave behind a situation or leave behind a person, uh, which however that resonates with you, the walking away can be challenging. But again, when you look at this illustration, you know, you're, you're, lo you're not looking forward, you're still looking in the past, but you're walking and you're taking those steps to move forward. This takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to be able to do this. And you know, even transformations take a lot of courage and strength as well. So you should be very proud of yourself for being able to walk through that beautiful gate. And you know, as much as you want to keep thinking about the past, you have to turn yourself around and look at that sun that's guiding you into your, into your future here, because there's a lot of bright, beautiful abundance coming into play for you. But sometimes that just takes a little time, a little healing, a little time out. You know, the healer of the ages and this four of swords relate very well together because it's taking care of yourself in a, in like a total, in a totality, like you're taking care of yourself. And that's really important. So spirit angels and guides for the walking away. What would you like to share with us for Capricorn? What is this walking away? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. 
So you got the six of coins. So the six of coins is really about um, feeling like monies are coming in. Um, you know, it, you're feeling really balanced where your finances are con concerned. In fact, everything that you have been, you know, hoping for where balance is concerned, it's here. You know, if you've been giving a lot, well, you're also getting back in return. It's like you're the, the, um, it's like being reciprocated. So, you know, you're feeling a very good, you're feeling at a very good financial place right now, but you're walking away from something that, you know, has emotionally, it's been something that's very, very emotional. So again, that could have something to do with that painful ending here, the ten, 10 of Swords. Now, that cornucopia, for some of you, this could be an inheritance. There could be an inheritance that has come into play, and this is why you've got the Six of Coins and you've got the cornucopia. You're having to put um, put to rest uh, something, and it's emotionally very hard to walk away. But, you know, these two cards are very similar. If you look at the illustrations, you're walking away and you can see the light on the other side. You're walking through the doorway and you're seeing the light on the other side. So as painful as it is, you know that it's something that you have to do. And when you walk through that door, you're going to get number 14 here. You got number 14, Temperance. <clears throat> and this is really a very peaceful card. It really does project peace and harmony. And it's really learning how to blend everything together because there is going to be a huge transformation and adjustment happening here, especially if, you know, emotionally you're having to walk through doors and walk away from situations because, again, they've kind of gone full circle. There's nothing more that you can give to it. There's nothing more that you can do for it. You have to accept it. And by accepting it, you know, you're going to bring more peace and balance to your life and everything does happen in divine timing the temperance is here to really give you that um, sense of peace so to know that you you know you um, you are doing the right thing that by walking away is the right decision and that you're going to be able to blend everything together to really feel that sense of of harmony inside as well like your heart is going to start to really feel more at peace so now let's clarify those cards as well. We've got the walking away, the eight of cups, the six of coins, and the temperance. So let's find out what's going on here. Is there anything else you can share with us for Capricorn? Thank you. All right, anything else? Okay, so we've got, we've got three cards here. All right, so you know what? I'm going to read these two first and I'm going to save that one till the last. The four of cups, that is feeling discontent. It's not feeling great. In, in, in You're not in feeling the most positive emotionally. All right, these emotions are really starting to play a toll on you and this is why you have to decide to walk away. But what you don't understand, I guess, is that when you walk through that gate, when you walk through that door and you walk towards the light, that there is an opportunity and that there is this cup here that is divinely being handed to you. It's this cup that's much bigger than any other cup. It's overflowing with abundance and it's overflowing with love. But right now you are just wanting to take a little break away from everything. It's like you just want some time for yourself to really you know, get in touch with your own emotions, your own spirituality, because once you can really start to feel more grounded with that energy, you are not going to ignore this beautiful cup that's being offered. It's just the state that you're feeling at this time. And again, it probably is linked very strongly to the situation here at the beginning where you're having to release yourself from something, someone, a situation, a job, a family member, a relationship something that is causing you to feel that sense of uneasy, just not feeling emotionally strong. And we all have those moments. But you you have the opportunity, like you have the opportunity to walk away from this, but you have to be ready. You know, you have to be emotionally strong and ready for that. Now, the nine of wands comes up in here as well, because, you know, it's like the one last challenge, the nine is almost at the 10. You're almost to the end of the struggle. The nine of wands is like the wounded warrior. You are always, you always have the strength to be able to stand up and fight no matter what the challenges or obstacles that you have to face. But what you're facing right now is more on an emotional level. And that can be the most challenging of all because having to deal with our own emotions 
you know, is something that we personally have to do. Nobody else can help us with that. We somewhat have to take control of that ourselves. So this is a challenge that you're feeling, but there is light here. You know, you, this challenge is something that you, again, you're not going to back down from it. You are going to eventually see that all of this that's coming into play is there's a divine purpose for it. It's something that has to end in order to create this cornucopia in this this new beginning and you are going to feel a sense of victory here so the six of wands is feeling accomplishment it's feeling victory it's feeling it's feeling very proud of course I, I really feel like it's a sense of pride as well that you know for a job well done for being able to handle things emotionally now there could be you are again a leader Capricorn so you could be having to take the lead with a family some sort of family matter and you know, it's been emotionally draining for you, but you're keeping strong. You're putting that face of strength on. And you know, you know that eventually it's something you're going to have to figure out how to walk away from, but you're, you're really wanting to get that closure. And this six of wands is that achievement, that accomplishment. For some of you, if it's a job, then yes, leaving this job or the ending of this job, that wheel is turning in your favor and luck is coming into play. You're expanding on your horizons and you are feeling a sense of victory. So even though in the moment of all of these transformations of endings coming into play, you've got this um, ignited energy of knowing that there is something really wonderful and abundant coming into play for you as well. So let's get into this healer of the ages and find out now, of course, with all that's going on here, there's a lot going on in these next two weeks. You are going to have to have a moment where you're going to have to feel this sense of healing and you're going to have to allow, you know, your, your spiritual team, your family, you know, the family and love and support that you have of your friends and family to help you as well to heal. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. All right. So the sun energy came out, which is very positive, feeling a sense of that revitalized energy. So again, if you've been feeling a little lethargic or you've been feeling a little bit, you know, your brain's been a bit foggy, you haven't been able to be focused. It's been really hard to emotionally, you know, you've been emotionally drained because again, that Mer Mercury retrograde can certainly play a toll on all of that. That sun energy is coming into play for you. It's bringing you that sense of revitalized energy. You're feeling as if, um, you know, you're really starting to feel a positive turn of events here. And this is beautiful energy. Now it comes after a time of this five of swords. Five of swords is, again, it's almost like a mental conflict. It's like our brains, our, our, our mind is, you know, um, it, it, our minds never shut off. And, you know, when we hear people talking, sometimes people are saying things and we're letting it get to us. We're letting it get to us so much that we feel that we have to bring our defenses up and we feel that we have to fight because we don't necessarily like what we're hearing. So it's really a matter of, of trying to put your, you know, put your swords down and, and, let people be people and if they're going to chit chat and gossip and say things you kind of have to you know just let them be and try not to let it get into your head remember that you have so much positive energy here that everything that you touch is going to turn to sunshine now this could be why this healing of the ages comes up as well because if this five of swords energy so if there are people in and around you so whether it's family members again friends it could be people that you work with depending on your situation you know, they, they could have been saying things that you know aren't truthful and you've really had to put your defenses up and you've had to really fight a good fight here as well. Um, but a lot of it can be in our head. So it's really a, a matter of, um, you know, deciding how far you want to take it. I think really at this point you're saying, you know what, I'm done with this. I don't, you can, you can, you can do what you want to do. I am no longer going to allow it affect me in any way. I am going to get peace. I'm going to get rest and I'm going to allow all of that energy to heal. And I'm moving towards the sunshine. I don't want the darkness and it's all going to be play out with justice here. So this is number 11 justice. This of course is fairness. This is balance. If there is any legalities that you're going through in any sense. So legalities don't have to be you know, uh, extreme it can have to do with, of course, any type of contracts. It could do with work, contracts to do with family, um, inheritances. It can have to do with investments. 
really it can be anything and it will result and resonate differently with all of you but it's fairness it's balance it's restoring that balance it's getting to the truth of a matter it's really um, feeling a sense that it's turning out in your favor so whatever you feel was not turning in your favor or maybe you felt like you know again with starting off this reading with the ten of swords and having this painful ending to something you have to remember that that you also had the wheel of fortune there right after that it came out with that card meaning that your luck is turning and that is that justice karmic justice is coming into play for you now there's no doubt seven of swords there has definitely been somebody who has not been forthcoming with information there's been some secrets secrecy there's definitely be something being hidden or and now again if it's to do with work somebody has been keeping information from you this is why it's been a struggle for you this is why you need this healing energy the seven of swords is a little bit of deception it can be somebody again with withdrawing and keeping something from someone so there's information that you've been requiring and i think that this is why the five of swords and the seven swords have come up here you know you really feel that you um you are really having to battle something but it's all coming out in your favor um, if it has to do with family members, you know, there could be, again, there could be documents or because we are in a Mercury retrograde, you know, the communications can get lost and things aren't as um, open book as we would hope that they would be. And I believe that that is this energy here. This is why there's going to be a lot of healing. This is why you need to walk away because again, you're going to get to the truth of the matter. Fairness is going to be in your court here. You are the one that's going to end up on the right side here. This is definitely restoring that balance and you need to feel positive in that sense, even though um, there are some things that are being, information is being withheld from you. Let's clarify that. Let's get a little bit more into that because there is definitely something around you, <clears throat> whether it's a situation or a person that is withholding information not somebody you can trust. So let's see. Let's find out if we can get some more on that. The Seven of Swords. Anything else? Thank you. Got Temperance again. You're trying to blend it all together. You're trying to stay strong. So King of Cups energy. Now this could be supportive energy because the King of Cups is very grounded with their emotions. Um, they are very intuitive and they follow their intuition. In fact, their intuition is so high that they almost can see things before they even happen. So this could be a very supportive energy. Water sign. So water signs are Scorpio, um, Pisces, and Cancer. So if that means anything to any of you Capricorn. This is definitely, um, I, I, it also could be your energy because you are holding your emotions strong right now. You know, you are taking the lead in this situation and you know what? You are not allowing manipulation. You're not allowing people to keep those secrets. You are going to get to the truth of everything, but you're doing it with a kind heart, but you're staying grounded with your energy. And again, that comes along with that seven of wands energy. And this is really having to stand your ground. You are going to have to stand up against some, something here. There's no doubt that you have to hold your vision. You have to hold your um, you have to hold your strength and do not let anybody get in the way of that. Don't back down. It's not time to back down because again, we know that everything is going to come out in fairness for you. And the temperance is all again, that, that is that card we had over here as well. You have two temperance. So that's again, blending your world harmoniously together. You're going to get to the root of the matter here and you are going to reach your cornucopia. It is coming for you. It's just that you have to get through this period of major transformations before you get to that state. And the temperance card is going to really bring everything together. Like it's all coming full circle for you. And again, I think you're really going to start feeling this after the 25th of of April uh, because that's when Mercury goes direct and that's when communications are going to start to open and that's when we're going to start jumping into action we're going to be taking action we're going to be improving our situations and we are going to make things happen we're ready to to soar and we're ready to you know take that energy and move forward and that's exactly what needs to happen here so that's everything there let's get into your spirit animal messages let's see what spirit would like to share with you this is for capricorn for the last two weeks what would you like to share 
folks. Anything you'd like to share here? All right. They're taking their sweet old time. Okay, you're gonna get those too. So you got the heron, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. So again, a patience, you are gonna be rewarded for your patience. And again, after the 25th of April, when Mercury does go direct, you're not going to, you're, you're gonna be able to move forward. And then you also got Raccoon, the inventor. Decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. And it's true, you are taking on many roles here. You're trying to really figure out, you know, again, um, you're really trying to gain information and gain insight so that you can move forward. Um, but there is definitely some sort of something happening where your luck is changing, but something is coming to an end. You're walking in a new direction. You're walking towards your cornucopia and you're doing it with a lot of healing energy. All right, so let's find out from your angels what the final messages are for you. Spirit angels and guides, what are the final messages for Capricorn? What would you like to share with us? Anything else? Anything else to tie this reading together? Okay. Actually, you got three. So you got 11 strength. And you got the 11 there. 11 is a very master, uh, is a very uh, important number for you as we move through April. So this is all about strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. And that all has a lot to do with that healing energy. Having the strength to walk through that door or walk through that gate. Uh, to be able to accept the challenges that are coming into play. To be able to ward off anyone who is trying to keep secrets or they're trying to be deceptive in any way. You're not going to allow it to get to you. You're going to allow justice to, um, you're, you're allowing karmic justice to come into play for you. But you've got a lot of strength. And then you've got number five, divine guidance. So the search for the meaning of life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. So you've got a community of people that have a lot of wisdom and they are going to help you and guide you. Not only people here like your family members, um, and your friends and your colleagues, but you've also got, you know, the divine as well. You've got um, them on your side as well. And then you got the seven of Gabrielle. You have to stand up for what you believe in. So there's definitely going to require a lot of strength because you are going to have to stand up. There is at some point during these next two weeks, you are really going to have to stand up for your own convictions here. Have confidence because confidence is really important and claim your personal power. And you're going to be able to claim that personal power. It's time for you to, uh, it's really time for you to, um, you're going to be moving into almost a different role um, where you are really going to have to, to um, take control of the situation. And with that, everything will turn out in your favor. Absolutely. So let's get your final number, angel number, and the message linked to it. So spirit angels and guides. What is the number, that one there? Number zero. Beautiful. So you are limitless. So you're going to say that. I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It's time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. You are, you are getting more insight. You are going to get more information. And again, this is where, you know, this is where you are going to become in this powerful position where you are going to be able to take, um, you're going to take everything, all this situation, all these people, you're going to be able to take them and, and you're going to be able to filter through what it is you need to keep and what it is that you need to let go. Because there's no doubt there is something strong in the next two weeks that you are going to have to walk away from, but you are going to have that healing energy to help you get through it. You have a lot of messages. I feel like I could talk all day long. Capricorn, this is going to be a very impactful two weeks for you. I wish you a lot of love and a lot of luck as you move through these next two weeks. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, there are some specific messages that might not relate to you, but please take what resonates and leave the rest. And also leave comments. Let me know if it does resonate with you. Uh, again, thank you for your support. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.